door. I'll play a new prank call from those boys in a minute, but let Rosemary have the uh, floor. Well, I just want to say something about this measles outbreak. Good. My parents, yeah, my parents lived back in the, you know, when they couldn't get these vaccines, and uh, I was born in the early 50s, and these things were no joke. There were people that whooping cough, measles, mumps, chicken pox, polio. There is a reason why they work so desperately to get vaccine. So tell these idiots that aren't vaccinated. Rosemary, I, uh, God bless you. You're absolutely, I'm gl- thank you for saying this because. You're welcome. I talk about the morons in this country and we have a ton of them. Yes, we do. Um, I, I, I never, I don't know what happened to our country. We're a bunch of dummies. You know, medical science is so fantastic. The innovation, the only reason people, you know, nature wants to get rid of you. Why does nature want to get rid of you? After a certain amount of years, nature looks at the human being and says they're no longer producing children. They're obsolete. They're obsolete. We have to destroy this body to make room for the new bodies coming on the planet. And medical science has been so fantastic. Science in general is so fantastic that they actually developed, as you say, Rosemary, polio vaccine, whooping cough. These things have been eradicated from the planet. And to be so arrogant and act like you're a scientist now and you're not going to vaccinate your child. Well, now you got enough idiots who have all gotten together to do that. And now we're seeing big comeback. Yes, I just want to say my and best friend of 45 years got polio in the early 50s. They didn't have the vaccine in her area. It was just for bigger cities. And um, she went through all kinds of stuff. Are you kidding? I talked to my father about the depression and about what it was like and yellow fever and all of these horrible things. My father had scarlet fever. It was horrible. And scarlet <laughs> fever can really mess you he, he was supposed to die. He, he, he lived. He got lucky. Now, this is what's going on in the country. And, it, and, it, and you have to address the big picture. And I got to talk about our president a bit. He's got to knock this shit off. When he starts tweeting about global warming, and he goes, oh, we had, we had a cold day today. Where's the global warming? We need it. Listen, I know Donald. He's no scientist. Trust me. We have fabulous scientists in this country. This whole movement of rejecting science, particularly in the Republican Party, because of God knows what. You're being selfish. The next generation, my children... My children's children, they're going to have to live on this planet. We're destroying the planet as we speak. You they're know, they're opening up whales. It a, op- a devastating thing. You get mumps, they're then o- you get measles, then you get chicken pox. They're opening up whales and finding plastic in them. It's so much plastic, it's choking them to death. Now, to sit there and say you know more than scientists is ridiculous. To say, uh, the press is dishonest and we don't want a free press. Are you kidding? You'd want to, you want to live in a country that doesn't have free press? Are you insane? Go to Venezuela, you fucking dummies. They're ready to give up their rights. Do you know, Rosemary, you think Beetlejuice would be alive in the olden times? No, it's medical science that's helping people. All of the whack pack. I know Donald. He can evaluate titties. I don't know science. He doesn't know science. Scientists know science. And 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 these anti-vaccination fuckers. You go fuck yourself right now. You don't want your baby. All right. If you're the one person in the world who doesn't get vaccinated, I can live with that. But the problem is you're spreading this idiotic behavior all over the world. And, and even if you do survive a childhood disease as a, as a baby, there's side effects. Right, you don't we want... still have adults getting shingles. Yes. I got the shingles vaccine. They, they told me they invented a vaccine that I'll never get shingles. It's 100% effective or 90, yes. 90-something. I'm taking it. I want to get shingles, walk around. <laughs> it's medical science. I wouldn't be alive. A guy my age would be dead 20 years already, back in the old days. 
You go back into the 1800s, guys were dying when they were 21. I was watching a movie about those olden days, and this 18-year-old guy saying, Mom, I've got to get out of the house because half my life is gone. That's, That's right. what life was like. 18 was a, it was your midlife. Come over here. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm not taking up Renan's. Sorry, that was an outburst. And he did. He died at 39. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie. Ronnie's lived four lifetimes. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rosemary. You got me all worked up. I sound like Mad Dog. Talking okay, about the we'll Super Bowl. Calm. Well, calm down. All You'll right, be thank okay. you. All right. Well, you made a good point. I love but it. you, you make the point that man, we've got a lot of dumb people. We got dumb people that we're that go, dealing with, and you hear these dummies. They seem on TV. They start talking about science like they know something. And it's always I feel. Yeah. So you feel. Something. I feel the Earth is flat. You do. <laughs> I feel you should die. <laughs> what do you think of that? Why don't you go back to school and do homework? He feels, I don't know, I look at the beach and I see it's flat. Well, the I, way I feel about it is, you know, the uh, evolution isn't real. And everyone's worried about immigrants coming. We got so many dumb dumbs in this country. I want that. I want to export some of our I dumb dumbs. I want only immigrants. That's right. We get rid of all the dummies that live here. I tell you, I go crazy. I watch the news. It's insane. My God, go. It's cold in the winter. What? There's no global warming. You fucking moron. What is it, John? Hey, I just want to say, I, I just want to say, I love the show, but um, the, all these measles outbreaks are always occurring in places that also have high illegal immigrant people ha coming. What's oh, happening yeah. is they come up. They're not getting vaccinated either. Maybe I don't know. But I don't know. But yo, you know, no, Howard, you're correct. They're not getting vaccinated. But there's a problem. They just. Yeah, I agree. Because so they, but they come over, and because no one's checking anybody, they they have all these outbreaks, and then maybe you're right. Fuck, but well, that's why you should get your vaccine. Yeah, but so so no, so I, no, you I, got I, idiots no, in this I, country. I, they don't want to get vaccinated. No, that doesn't help. I 100 percent agree. But all right, I think all right, all right. so if you agree, get off the phone. Because I agree. Doesn't but. matter where it's coming from. Get your vaccine. Mm -hmm. Right, Ron. Everybody wants, oh, it's them, it's them, it's them. Right. That's another dumb thing we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Richard and Sal, let's pick up the genes. They called uh, a religious show, and um, they made a confession on the religious show. Oh. You like that? Yeah. That's something I want to hear about. I'm going to try and forget he's wearing five-year-old pants. Mm. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, we're going to take a call. How are you? Oh, uh, honestly, not good. Our names are Richard and Sal, and we're addicted to prank calling.